Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Birukov and I'm Vice President of Journals Russia and Springer Nation. In this video, I would like to tell you about the project which promotes the transparency of peer review processes in conference proceedings. We have implemented this for computer science proceedings back when I was responsible for the lecture notes in computer science and other computer science proceedings series. And my colleagues in the Applied Sciences and Sciences Department work on introducing this also in their disciplines. Uh, first of all, if you would like to know more about uh, conference proceedings, uh, I would like to recommend reading this blog post uh, from Scholarly Kitchen, which explains how conference proceedings work. And if you prefer to read it in another language, it's also available in Chinese and uh, in Russian. So the information about uh, peer review process uh, conference applied to select papers for proceedings uh, has been collected from conference organizers systematically since 2018. And uh, the chairs of the conference were asked to provide justification if this information cannot be made public. And uh, I would like to, to show you how to find this information about uh, peer review process on Springer link. So if you go to proceedings in computer science and uh, select uh, a paper from the proceedings, you should click on about this paper and uh, cross mark icon. And uh, under more information in uh, cross mark, you will see information about the conference and about the peer review process this conference applied. So uh, here you see uh, information about uh, the peer review process, such as whether it was uh, double blind, single blind or open, how many submissions uh, they had, how many full papers were accepted, how many short papers were accepted. Acceptance rate is often used as an indicator uh, of uh, how selective conference is. So in this case, it was 31% for full papers. And you can also see uh, the average number of reviews per paper and uh, the workload of reviewers. And uh, the idea for this uh, feature came from uh, the peer review project uh, where we collaborated with uh, different publishers and researchers on studying uh, novel ways of doing peer review and studying peer review, what works, what doesn't in general. So Mario Malichke from University of Split visited us in Heidelberg and uh, he text mined uh, 10,000 uh, prefaces uh, from uh, lecture notes in computer science and other computer science proceedings series in order to understand how people describe peer review, what kind of uh, adjectives and uh, indicators they use to describe peer review and uh, the resulting set of fields uh, we then implemented uh, to collect uh, systematically such information about peer review. and. Uh, it is uh, right now implemented for almost 900 volumes of uh, computer science proceedings, including uh, the lecture notes in computer science, uh, communications in computer information science, and lecture notes in business information processing series. As I mentioned, we are working on extending this to engineering, physics, uh, mathematics, statistics, and chemistry. And uh, we believe that being transparent about the peer review process contributes to showing how we are serious about the quality of conference proceedings published by Springer Nature. Moreover, we work with other publishers, uh, so you can see different uh, publishers, abstracting and indexing services uh, in in uh, represented in this uh, crossref data site group on persistent identifiers for conferences. And uh, you can uh, find more information about uh, how we would like to propose an industry standard on uh, recording such information uh, about peer review. So uh, kind of taxonomy of peer review for conference proceedings in uh, these blog posts from Crossref and Datasite. Uh, if uh, you would like to know more about uh, transparency of peer review in conference proceedings, don't hesitate to contact me at uh, first name uh, dot uh, last name at uh, springer dot com, and uh, I would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much for your attention.